doing something we might not be able to do tomorrow. We've just gotten news that the uh, heavy rains today mean that water is going to be shut off for 24 hours starting tonight. So we're trying to get as much done as we can with water. Just a couple of quick other updates. Uh, I recently had a bit of an allergic reaction first time in my life. It's been uh, this bad. I don't know if I have allergic reactions, I've got to say, but you might just see I'm a little bit orange and red. Same color as the prawns I ate the other night. I think they're the ones to blame. And the other big thing that happened this week is we had the census. So a gentleman came along, asked us a couple of questions. You know, what are your names? What do you do? Stuck a little sticker on the door to let everyone know that we've done the census. Very different to the Australian census, of course, where last time I just did it online, like three weeks after the census itself. I'm sure you all remember that great, fantastic thing. And uh, yeah, now we're seeing what's gonna happen tomorrow. No water. Mm, fun, fun. Isn't that right? Uh, look, I've got the light I'm like an angel with a halo. Oh. <laughs> All right. A red so, angel. A red angel, yeah. <laughs> More of an orange angel, I'd say. Well, the good news is that the uh, water crisis is over, at least in our area, water is running again. Despite that last night, we did fill up just about every container uh, possible with water in order to last for a day or two or three. Uh, this does mean that Denise had to go to work today, but we do get a chance to go to the shops and buy a few things that we need to get. So, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. So we've jumped forward about a week. Um, a few things have happened in that time. Most importantly, there was an earthquake in Chile, so I was up here in the apartment all by myself when I was surprised with a bit of uh, trembling and movement. Okay, it's my first earthquake in Chile that I'm feeling. Little minion guy just fell over. Now, it, it soon became apparent that I should take some safety precautions. I wasn't scared. Uh, maybe I should have been, but I got a quick message from Denise uh, informing me of, of what to do. Oh, yeah, I'm being told I, I need to go over here where it's safe, next to the door. Okay, I think it's over. Uh, thankfully, it was a fairly strong earthquake, 6.7, 6.9 on the Richter scale, but not so strong that it was you know, huge. So it's big enough to be noticed, but not um, you know, dangerous to, to everyone, as I understand it. So I wasn't hugely uh, scared. Um, I was more just finally happy to feel a, a Chilean earthquake because I kept on missing them. Um, at the moment, I'm just doing a bit of cleaning up. We were um, up until 3 a.m. last night. We had some guests over and I've just got to tell you the scheduling of parties here in South America is something that I don't think I will ever get used to. So, um, you know, at least this one started early, 7.38 p.m., but didn't finish till 3 a.m. and life goes on the next day. People wake up, they they go to work. I, I just can't handle it. I'm actually suffering with the, the lack of sleep and the difficulty of, of staying up. It's one thing that's making me thankful for going back to Australia and I am looking forward to heading back. I'll be going back in about two weeks time, uh, visiting family, friends and hitting up my uh, brother's wedding in Bali. So really looking forward to that. Um, hopefully we'll still get out a few videos from Chile between now and then.